Welcome back. They've been dancing to the beat of the music. The joy of dance brought a group together over the summer months. They gathered in various locations across Richmond Hill to express themselves through folk dancing, and our cameras were there to capture it all. If you, are not, if you have never done it, please come closer to me. I think uh, that folk dancing is one of the great joys uh, that a person can have in his life. And it's not something you can do by yourself. You have to do it with a group of people. It's not just the dancing, it's not just the music. It's also the fact that we are dancing in a circle and hold hands. It makes us a group. And uh, we all know each other. We all talk, even after the dancing is finished, we talk and we socialize. All summer long, a group of folk dancing enthusiasts have gathered in locations across Richmond Hill to dance the night away. This dedicated group got together recently at the plaza at the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts and didn't let the severe weather spoil the fun. This is one of our last dancers for this season, so I didn't want to miss it. I come from downtown from, with Monica, but with friends I've been hanging around, but I wanted to make it tonight in spite of the rain. I try to give a little bit of the story is also behind the dances. I mostly do it in the class and not so much outside. Uh, but it's more interesting to learn the stories uh, that are behind the dances. Not always I know the, the stories, but if I do, I, I try to do that. Lift, we go in and in and in and again. Side B. This lady is teaching three in the summer. She's a volunteer and we dance outside, everybody can join in, walk, people who walk past. It's a real passion, this first. Yeah, and you forgot to say that I'm a great teacher. <laughs> Come on, no one said that I'm a great teacher. <laughs> Those who meet with the group regularly go not just for the chance to dance and learn, they also go because they like the music and the friendship that goes along with it. Okay. When I started for dance, I didn't even know what kind of dance it would be. And uh, it's the music which really attracted me. Ricky has such a um, choice of uh, music that, uh, that really makes you uh, hook on to folk dance. It's really a journey, you know, this dance with Ricky. Touch and back, touch and back, open, open, close and close. It's wonderful to, to have so many friends. I, I don't think I've been blessed in my life that much as to have so many friends. Yeah, in different people, different ages, different cultures. And uh, I think this is the best, uh, the best community that a person can have, is to have friends that dancing together. Among all the people coming to folk dance, we are from all ages, from young to old. And Ricky really chooses uh, something that can suit everyone. And I love them all. I, I love her choice. It can be contemporary, it can be very romantic, uh, it can be uh, very, uh, how to say, um, it can be Balkan dancers, folkloric, very, you know, it's, it's a large choice and it makes me discover all the cultures of the world through the dances and the music. The group says Ricky's knowledge and passion for folk dancing really makes her a great teacher of the art. She is the perfect teacher, you know. She, she is really a model for us, you know. She teaches us how to, when we dance, just to forget about ourselves and to just, you know, give in to the music and be uplifted. Ricky is the best teacher I ever had. And I am in my second youth. If you would like to find out more about the group and other folk dancing opportunities in the area, visit the Rogers TV website for more information. I'm Michael Donnelly with your Community Connection.